good guys welcome to the channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to create two trippy transitions so here in after effects i'll be creating that transition between these two clips from the central c music video and when it comes to these trippy transitions you always want to think about if you open up the effects and presets panel you always want to think about the distort effects so over here we have a lot of different effects and we're going to be using a few of these effects in order to create this transition so first thing we're going to do is create a new adjustment layer and make sure this adjustment layer is the same length as the second clip that we're going to be transitioning into. Now the first distort effect we are going to be using is the warp effect. So if I add that onto the adjustment layer, as you guys can see, we have this really distorted look. If you go to effects and then open up the warp style, there's a lot of different type of looks. The one that I'm going to be going with is the twist effect, and that creates this different look for our footage. For the warp axis, I'll just keep that at horizontal. And then the ones we're going to be focusing on is the bend as well as the horizontal distortion. If I increase this, it really distorts the footage even more. So I'm going to increase that to 100. And then for the horizontal distortion, I'm also going to increase that to 100. By doing that, it creates this transparent background. So we're going to add a motion tile. Make sure to have the motion tile above the warp effect. Increase the output height to 200. Click mirror edges. By doing that, it still creates the transparency. But once we add the other effects, we're not going to be able to see this. So the next thing we're going to do is actually keyframe the bend as well as the horizontal distortion. Keyframe that at the start. Open up the keyframes by clicking U. Go forward 20 frames. Hold the shift button. Click page down twice in order to go forward 20 frames. I'll keyframe both the bend as well as the horizontal distortion back to zero. For the next effect, we're going to add an optics compensation. If you increase the field of view, it like really distorts our footage. But instead of having it like this, you want to make sure you click the reverse lens distortion. And I'll increase this to 150. Now that we added this effect, we don't have those transparent edges anymore. When it comes to these distort effects, they can be really render intensive on your device. So if you need to change the resolution, you can always do that just so that your device runs a lot smoother. Keyframe the field of view at 150 at the start. Go forward 20 frames. Keyframe that back to zero. This is what we have so far for the transition. I feel like it can look a lot better if we add a blur. So I'm going to add a CC radial blur. So if you increase that amount, it adds that blurriness. Instead of having the type at scratch, I'm going to change it to fading zoom keyframe the amount i'm going to really increase that so i'll keyframe that at 80. i want the blur to end earlier so i'm just going to go forward at 10 frames keyframe the amount back to zero and by adding that motion blur or by adding that cc radial blur effect it makes the transition look even better easy ease all the keyframes go into the graph editor for the warp keyframes and i'm going to create the same graph for all these keyframes for the influence on the right side I'll change that to around like 75%. Create the same graph for all the other keyframe. After modifying the graphs, it makes the animation look a lot smoother. I'm gonna grab all these keyframes and just bring it back one frame just so that it's already animating before it even transitions into the second clip. Actually, I'm gonna bring it back one more frame and this is what we have i feel like that makes it a lot more smooth so i'm going to keep it like that and then the next thing we're going to do is create a flash effect between these two clips create a new adjustment layer cut this layer to four frames make sure it's between the two clips where we have two frames on the left and then two frames on the right for this layer we're going to add an exposure increase the exposure i'm going to have this one really bright i'll increase that to like around four keyframe that at the middle and then we're going to keyframe both the start as well as the end at zero. Easy ease all the keyframes. This is what we have for the final transition. Moving on to the second transition, I'll be using the same exact clips as we did for the first transition. So let's create a new adjustment layer and make this one the same length as the second clip. For this one, we're only going to be using one effect. I'm going to add a turbulent displace. If you open up the displacement settings, we have a few different options. We have the bulge as well as the twist and all the other ones. For this transition, I'm going to go for the bulge. In order to animate this effect, we're going to be keyframing the amount, size, as well as the evolution. So I'm going to decrease the amount at 20 because I don't want to be too distorted. And then I'm going to increase the size to around like... I would say 300. Keyframe the amount, size, as well as the evolution at the start. Go forward 14 frames. Keyframing the evolution creates that movement for this effect. So I want this to be pretty intense. I'm going to keyframe the evolution 
at two full cycles and then just keyframe the amount back to zero keyframe the size at zero or the lowest is actually two so keyframe that at two easy ease all these keyframes this is what we have so far so it creates that bounce effect for the second clip the next thing we're going to do is create a flash effect this one's going to look a little different compared to the first one we're going to be using a white solid layer so create a new solid make sure the color is white cut this layer so that's six frames we're going to be keyframing the opacity so keyframe that at 100 at the start go to the end keyframe that to zero easy ease the keyframes go into the graph editor and i'm going to bring the influence on the right side to 100 so it creates that really cool flash effect make it look a little more realistic i'm going to add a noise to the second clip turn off the solid layer for now increase the amount of noise to around like 70 percent keyframe that at the start go forward six frames keyframe that back to zero easy easy keyframes and i'm going to create the same exact graph as we did for the white solid layer turn the solid layer back on you can't really notice a noise effect when we play this but i feel like that makes the camera flash effect look a little more realistic i'm actually going to grab these keyframes and just drag it back one frame the final thing we're going to do is add a shake in order to add more energy to this transition. Create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to be adding a shake from my motion energy effects pack. So here in the user presets, I'm going to open up my motion energy effects pack, open up the shakes and I have all the frames listed. So for this one, I'll be adding the diagonal shake transition and it's six frames long. So I'm going to cut this adjustment layer and make it six frames because it is a transition. Make sure to bring that between the two clips. And then go to the beginning of the adjustment layer, drag the transition on. It's not a 1920 by 1080 composition, so if you go to the tile center, right click, click reset, it changes it back to the original composition of the video. So by adding that shake effect, it just adds more energy. I'll show you guys one more shake, create a new adjustment layer. I want this one to be a little more intense, so I'm going to add this one. Cut the adjustment layer so that it's four frames long change the tile center but that is a final look for the second transition if you guys are interested in my motion energy effects pack i'll have a link down in the description that's all i have for this video thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video